Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about Spanning Tree and in particular we're going to talk about the Spanning Tree feature known as PortFast. Now while Spanning Tree is a good thing it can allow a network to function without any loops and should any network failures occur Spanning Tree enables the network to kind of heal itself and to get around those failures. Spanning Tree can also have a negative impact though to some of the connected devices. So let's take a look at an example. Here we have a PC connected to a switch and when the PC boots up the NIC on the PC will come up and also the port on the switch will come up. Now because Spanning Tree is running on that port the switch is going to put it into the first temporary state, the listing state, and it's going to stay there for 15 seconds. If all goes well then the switch moves it into the learning state and it stays there for another 15 seconds. Finally, if all looks good, the port is put into a forwarding state and now the PC can send and receive frames to the network. However, we just waited 30 seconds during which no frames were allowed to pass to or from that particular PC. And now for some devices that could cause a problem. Perhaps there's an application or something running on that PC that might time out or encounter some other kind of problem because of that waiting period, because it couldn't communicate for up to 30 seconds. Sometimes PCs will encounter a problem obtaining a DHCP IP address because they just can't contact the DHCP server. So with these problems in mind, PortFast was created. And with PortFast, the port is immediately put into a forwarding state upon link up. So as soon as the PC comes up and its NIC goes up and the port on the switch goes up, Spanning Tree will put that port into a forwarding state immediately. That means we are bypassing the listening and the learning states completely. Now this port is still participating in Spanning Tree, so if any loops are detected on the port, it will be moved into a blocking state. However, since we're skipping the listening and the learning states, we only want to use PortFast on ports that have devices connected that are known not to cause loops. For instance, your standard desktop or perhaps an IP camera or a server or something along those lines. We definitely do not want to enable PortFast on a port that's connected to a hub or a switch or other devices, especially those that run Spanning Tree, because they could potentially introduce a loop. And because Spanning Tree is not going to run through the listening and learning states on this port, we can potentially create a larger problem now because we're bypassing that safety zone in Spanning Tree, that mandatory waiting period of 15 seconds in each of the two transition states. So we need to be very careful. All right, and so that's PortFast. It's a pretty simple feature, and you're going to see it widely deployed on especially access switches where desktops need to be connected. So just keep in mind, PortFast will definitely speed things up for some devices connecting to the network, but we're definitely losing our safety net there, so we want to be careful when we implement it. Okay, and that is Spanning Tree and PortFast. Thanks for watching.